Running plays in NBA 2K15 is essential if you want to become elite. And you also, it also can be quite simple if you know what you're doing. Before you even start calling the player, running the player, one thing you need to do is, man, you need to do this unless you're just a super boss. Come into coach settings, turn your play division to full. Make sure it's on full. This will make the whole process easier. Put this on full. You want this on full. Now let's get into it. Now to call plays, all you gotta do is press the L1 button or the LB button if you're on Xbox. It's gonna bring up these icons. Just press L1 again and take them back off if you wanna cancel a play. And press L1, then you wanna press whatever player you want to run a play for. You wanna press his uh, icon. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run off a circle. So I press circle and then the play is gonna come up. Now to exit that, well, if you don't press it in time, it will exit out by itself. Or if you wanna exit out, just press the circle button. Save the time limit. The shot clock is draining down. You don't have time. You call that play, or you think about calling the play, you can just press circle to cancel it out. Now let's go ahead and call the play. I'm gonna call the flow zipper too quick. Now whenever you see this little circle, well, this, whatever you wanna call it, let me call that play again. So it just come back up. Whenever you see this little circle, that's what a ball handler needs to be. The ball handler needs to be in that spot right there. And whenever you see this little blue line right here, the ball handler needs to run that way. Now let's start it back over. Call to play. Ball handler goes there. You just see here until the play develops. That line comes up. You see this little dotted line right here? That's a pass. That's all it is right there. That's a pass. Let's start back over. You gonna run it, try to run it to perfection this time. <laughs> you see this the little circle ball handler goes there. You just sit there until the play is developed. Ball handler runs along the solid blue line. Pass along the dotted line. Run along that line again. And that play is basically over. You just, you just gotta find somewhere to score right there. Now I think that you can actually run this play another way. Let me try it real quick. Okay, I went here. I ran along this line. Let's say that pass wasn't open. Yeah, I thought so. Another peak right there. Yeah, I thought so. So basically, let's run through this again. Circle, ball handling goes there. Now, if you know these basics, you can run any play on NBA 2K15. Dotted line, that's a pass. Circle again, solid blue line, ball handling is running through that. Now, let me show you something else. I'm going to call this play, what is it? 71 drag. You see those gray lines with the little stop thing at the end of it. I don't know what to call it, the little line at the end. Basically what that means is the CPU is, the CPU is about to set a peak for you. See that right there? That means that any gray lines, period, the CPU is running through that. That's the CPU's line. See those gray lines? The CPU is running that. And you see the, the little vertical lines at the end, that means the CPU is gonna set you a pick. Now you wanna wait till the CPU gets there because if you don't, you can't get a moving screen call. You don't want that, so let them set the pick, then you go. Now another thing, depending on what side, I'm just gonna say the middle of the court, depending on what side you are, that's the side they're gonna run a play from. So if I'm on this side and I run this play, you see this going to run on this side. I just ran 71 fifths down too short. And I hate running plays when you got to press that, uh, press right on the D pad. So I'm going to run something else. 71 drag. You see them on this side of the court. They're going to run it this way. Basically, man, that's it. If you want 
if you learn, if you know these bases on how to run plays, you can run any play. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run with triangle. I haven't did this yet. I know to go here, automatic. Oh, it's like it's just a post up from Marcus Aldridge. Okay, he's running through there. I probably didn't have to pass it to him, but I seen him going that way, so why not? Let's run with a square. Flow two quick corner. I know I'm supposed to be here. I don't think he was supposed to go this way, but hold on, who is this to? I can't even see him, so of course I'm not gonna pass that. Now I'm wide open. Buckets! <laughs> Basically, man, that's how you run plays. That's as simple as it is it as simple as it can get. How to run plays in NBA 2K15. Let these noobs score. Or not. Oh yeah, something else I didn't tell you. Say, say I'm running this play. That little 71. Nah, not that one. I'm gonna run another one. The 71 dread. Well, Damian Lillard's supposed to have the ball that comes to set up a pick. Now say Damian Lillard doesn't have the ball. He doesn't have to have the ball for you to set that play up. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna call that exact same play. 71 drag. And it's gonna tell you, press X, that's who this play is uh, supposed to start with. So it's gonna tell me to throw him the ball. If you ever see that, that means the ball's supposed to be in their hands right now. So pass it to him, basically. Flow to quick corner. It should tell me that even on this play. It should come up that I'm supposed to pass somebody the ball. Oh, this play just keeps going. This play, I like this play. It just keeps going, Jamie Lilly with the slam. Thanks for watching, man. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Google Plus, Bebo, MySpace.